Hi guys, Mickey here, Hampshire Outdoors and Survival. I hope you enjoyed this video. So this is just a little look at some of my shotguns. Okay, now I've recently disposed of my licenses for both my firearms and my shotguns because I'm moving soon, hopefully, with any luck, to another county. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm not really using them that much anymore. Um, in my career, I've done a lot of vermin control, pest control, uh, and that. And I'm not doing so much anymore. So it's like having a bar of chocolate on the shelf that you can't eat. I have it. So at the end of the day, I disposed of those. I did keep myself back an air rifle. So just so I can keep my eye in when I want to. Or I want to go out and do a bit of plinking. That's what it's there for. So at the end of the day, I'm a big advocate in shooting and shooting sports. And I'm doing it safely. Following the rules. Right practices and all the rest of it. So, hopefully you enjoy this little look at my shotguns. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Have fun. Right, Mickey here. And this is more for me to record for my own memory. I'm going to put this on my drive and save this. So, let's have a look at what you used to shoot, Mickey. So... This is one of your favourites. That was a 410 bicycle. You bought that brand new, had it modified so that it had a moderator on it. Um, used to use subsonic cartridges on that to make it quiet. Two, two and a half inch. There, they, they, they didn't make any difference to the noise because they were faster the velocity. But your Magnums and your Ely subs worked beautifully out of that. Um, very good gun. Um, yeah, for vermin control, rabbiting, things like that. Even the odd pigeon and showing off at the old clay shoot. That was a, a great gun. That did you for a lot of years. A lot of years. I never once give an issue. And that's the thing. People say bike on. Oh, bike on. Oh, very old heavy hat and things. Right. That has been shot and shot and shot. Never once given me an issue. A, 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 a problem I could bring it home it cleaned easy always did the job so next an old gun that you've had for donkey's years and again it's a bike reliable it's never ever let me down but easy to care for look after even if it is a little bit heavy but a good old side by side farmer's gun Okay, 12 gauge. Yeah, that's accounted for many a rabbit, many a pigeon, and many a fox. Been a good old gun. Yeah, you've liked that over the years. I do like a side by side. I think there's something a little bit more stylish about side by side than an over and under. But that is just how I was brought up, I suppose. Um, Last of the double barrels. Okay. Bicycle over and under. Again, bicycle. Okay. Uh, last of the bicycles. Great gun. Served me well. Um, it's an over and under. Great for clay pigeon shooting. Okay. It's been an absolutely superb gun. And again. It was as cheap as chips and it never let you down. So, always happy with that. So, let's get on to the single barrels. That one was bought by your father and that was when your boys first started shooting in their teens. Okay, now you can see it's got a bit of wear on it. At some point it's actually had a sling on it. We don't know the maker. There's no maker's name on it. Insignia. It is Spanish. 12 gauge. Hammer action. Uh, single barrel. Lovely little gun. Um, yeah. Did your boys well. Taught them how to handle, carry and use a shotgun safely. And again, I suppose if I was looking for a survival gun. Should we ask for you? Little single barrel, probably all I'd want. It's light, 
it's easy to carry, it will do the job. Okay. Um, what do you really need? Okay. I'm not killing hordes, I'm more looking at possibly protection. Um, and it's more of a go away and leave me alone you know, from a distance and bringing home the dinner. Yeah. Uh, yeah, great little gun that's been. And again, never had an issue with it. Never had an issue with it. And it's also, because of its slightness, absolutely brilliant on a clay range. You're right, you've only got one barrel. But yeah, for a day's fun on a clays, yeah, been a world of fun. Next, we come to a bit of an oddity. And I picked this up for a bottle of whiskey. Because this is exactly the same as the very first shotgun I ever owned, or ever had given to me. <coughs> Do excuse me sneezing. And this is a Webley and Scott 410 bolt action. Okay, it's a single shot shotgun. Now I've heard all sorts of rumours that in the old days you, know, you could get a kit and modify them and all the rest of it and have a, an underslung magazine pretty much like a Lee Enfield rifle. Um, I don't know how true that is. I've also heard of, like, old boy said to me during the Second World War, um, they were using 38 rimmed out of these for taking down deer. Again, don't know how true that is. Um, but it's a nice little bolt action. 410 takes two and a half inch cartridge. Okay. Um, got nice safety on it. And I wandered around the farm with one of these for many years as a young, young man. Um, taking down everything from, from foxes to rabbits, you know. So, again, it was a great... Uh, rats, oh, my God, yeah. Two-inch cartridge in that, round the barns after the rats. Um, so it was a, a, a good tool, and I picked that up because a friend of mine, he was giving up shooting, and he said, oh, basically, I'm, I'm going to chuck it in a scrap. And I was loath to see that cut up and destroyed because there's becoming less and less and less of these. And they're absolutely a beautiful gun to shoot. They're a great beginner gun. Absolutely great beginner gun for teaching somebody good gun safety and good gun practices. And they can start on a shotgun and they can pick up all the principles of a bolt action. So that when you move them over to centre fire, they've already got all the disciplines and skills there for a centre fire. Okay. And... Uh, Brilliant little gun. I've absolutely adored that. So yeah, that's 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 moving on now. And hopefully somebody's gonna find that, love it, and make a good home for it. That was that one. Oh, and now on to my competition gun. That's my competition gun. Okay. Or was my competition gun. I'm not doing competitions anymore. So um so pump action. 12 gauge, M and P, uh, peephole sights. Uh, people will say to me, peephole sights. Why peephole sights on a shotgun? Well, if you're shooting slug and you're shooting out to distances, okay, that's what you'll use. Um, it's got changeable chokes, so you can run it full open, or you can put a ch choke in there for slug. Um, you can put chokes in there for doing uh, distance shooting and bird shot and so on. So, yeah, you know, it comes with five chokes all standing still. So they're, they're going with that. Uh, so you can adapt it for whatever you want. Although, it does tend to shock people a little bit when you pull this one out at the uh, clay range. <laughs> and you definitely don't want to take this to a driven bird shoot. Um, yeah, they will, they will look a bit horrified. But again, there's a light and efficient gun for use and for practical shotgun it was brilliant okay chambered in three three inch magnum okay something i've often wondered about so if it's chambered in three inch magnum and this is a uk shotgun license legal shotgun okay so two in the magazine one at the spell three shots if it's three inch magnum in the magazine and if you want over two inch cartridges so it's two, three inch. Yeah, put it together. I've never tried it. I often wondered about it, but I suppose that could give somebody a bit of a surprise in a <laughs> if you live in a country where you would use this as a defence tool. 
because she could then go for three to four. We go, oh, he's five, he's three. There's a nice surprise for it. And again, it's got all the mounts and the weavers for it. So you, you put lights under there, lasers, all sorts. Um, you could even put a red dot scope on the top there. Brilliant gun, absolutely brilliant gun. Um, done me very, very well. And has taken, again, a fair number of foxes. Okay, um, I've gone out to uh, do a bit of vermin control and thought, you know what, I'm taking that one out with me today. I'm taking this one. Done the job for me. So, let's put that up there. So, that's just a few of my shotguns. Okay. So, Mick, you remember all these. Remember the, the fun days you've had wandering about with those. Um, but, things come to a, an end. It's time for me. I'm not doing it enough to make it worthwhile keeping the license. Uh, I'm keeping on with it, and I'm soon to be moving from here. So I may well be moving into another county and district. My license is up for renewal. So at the end of the day, far better to hand it in and cancel it and restart fresh at a later date than it is to try and mess about moving things on. Yes, there we go. So just a selection of my shotguns. Still got my air rifles. Still keeping those. Um, they don't require a license, although they are stored in a gun cabinet. And I still do a bit of vermin control with those rabbits, squirrels, and things like that, which is more what I'm into these days. I don't really want to kill anything if I can help it, but I do go and do a little bit of vermin control, just keep some permissions up together. So again, have what you need. Carry on with it. <sighs> Amateur outdoors and survival. Mickey. Shotguns. Shotguns out.